When you start home brewing, you, you're in love with making beer and you're in love with the process of creating things, kind of like being a chef in a kitchen. When you get an opportunity to do it on a bigger scale, to do it in a professional brewery with the, the big kit equipment, it's, it's pretty amazing. And I got a chance to do that with Star Hill not too long ago. I got to take my recipe and go to their brewery and make it on their system. So instead of making a five and a half gallon batch, I made a 360 gallon batch, which is it's a night and day difference um, as far as 800 pounds of grain instead of 15 and 17 pounds of hops instead of four or five ounces. My name's Jamie Barlow and I've been a home brewer for about 14 years and I got to make a Pro-Am beer with Star Hill. Pro-Am is a competition that's done during the Great American Beer Festival and I worked with Mark Thompson on it a little bit and he decided that he wanted to do uh, my California Common beer, uh, mixed steamy as I called it. And so it, we went from there. This year it was about 80, maybe 75 to 80 uh, beers were done. It's an incredible experience. It's something that home brewers wish they could do. It's a rare opportunity and it's uh, very interesting to use the big boy equipment. Brew Day happened uh, a few months ago that was just amazing. Uh, the brewer that I worked with was Levi. I love my job. That's what my job smells like. Awesome. But Levi was amazingly helpful and he, he helped guide me. He let me press the buttons and, and move things around. You need to turn the temperature of the, of the mash up to 216 degrees. 216? 216. if you're just gonna go in there and be a, a bystander to your own beer, but I was actually brewing with him. All right, now you see what we're getting here. You see where we have the stratification, it's all that dark, all that dark work back there, and over here is clear. So this is a situation at, at the 25 minute mark, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the bed to make sure we get all that harvested out of there. It was very collaborative. I was, we were kind of tweaking things on the fly. So what do you think, we'll do Columbus? Columbus, Columbus. right. And then uh, we can do, now do you want the Cascade Floral or do you want the Cascade Taste? Because we, we could put the Cascade in the second edition, put the right. Cascade at the end. We can also dry hop. Yeah. Cascade, so I mean, you I'm know. thinking a little bit more floral than floral. getting more, okay, so too much end. grapefruit. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what the best way to make my recipe work on their system. Uh, first one was Columbus. Columbus. The second one was only pearl, just pearl. Okay. And then the last two are going to be like 75% pearl, 25% Cascade. And that's at 15 and flame out. Yep. So, awesome. Success. Yes. Did we talk about the dry hop mix? No, I told I told you we could uh, we could wait. You know, we didn't have to know right there. Yeah. So it's up to you. It depends on what kind of nose you're looking for. Yeah. I don't the, know. The uh, we could possibly go the same way go. as the last two editions. Done. What are we calling this? McSteamy? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I didn't know if that name was gonna stick. Apparently it did. MC. <laughs> yeah, it'll get an MC. The yeast is pitched. The oxygen is in there. I mean, that's the magic. Now you gotta let it ferment for a while, five days in, dry hop. If this doesn't get you excited as a brewer, there's nothing going to get you excited. We're yeah. going to you might need to stop. That's a big deal. You should make something else. Exactly. Maybe you should make cheese. Yeah. Why don't you become a cheese guy? So in the end, we ended up with uh, 360 gallons of mixed steamy. California Commons are, are, are known as steam beers. And uh, a couple years ago when I named this, uh, mixed steamy was the big thing on Grey's Anatomy. And I thought it would just be funny to call it mixed steamy and that stuck. So it was about a month or so later before GABF that we got the chance to uh, unveil McSteamy and we, we did it at a beer run in Charlottesville which is an amazing place. So we, we unveiled McSteamy, brought in a couple kegs and that was, that was a great experience. It was really humbling to see all the friends who came out to, uh, to help celebrate this and to, you know celebrate this dream that not many home brewers get the chance to do. We got to bring it out there and talk to people about the beer. It's kind of like uh, an American Amber it's going to be a style that's really malty. You're going to get a lot of the, the grains, uh, caramel, you're going to be very focused on that. But unlike the American uh, beers, the pales and the ambers, the hops aren't going to be the citrusy hops. They're going to be northern brewer hops that give you more of a woody, rustic, 
minty flavor, and so that really differentiates it. California Common is a, a pre-prohibition beer. When brewers came over from Germany, they still wanted to use their lager yeast, but they had, didn't have the re refrigeration uh, abilities that they had at home, or even the cellars. So they would have to use the lager yeast at ale temperatures, warmer temperatures than they're used to. And so that kind of defines the, it defines the style to a certain extent, that and the use of the unique hops. I think it's a great uh, throwback, and I think it's a really drinkable beer. So you get to go to the GABF, and this was my first time going to the Great American Beer Festival. It's in Denver every year at the convention center. Right as you come in the door, there is a, a table that has a selection of the Pro-Am beers, and mine was being poured with the others. And so other people from the GABF, all the people showing up could try my beer. And it was on draft on Friday night with a few others. He brewed number 23, so just FYI. I'm very happy with the whole experience. I'm very thankful for Mark and Levi how helpful they were and how much, how much leeway they gave me to do what I wanted to do and make the beer that I wanted to make. That was amazing.